Namaste. I'm Dr. Malti Panchavag. I'm an anesthesiologist and a perioperative physician working here with the MVD Center in Pune for the last more than 20 years. Today we want to talk about a very important aspect of trigeminal neuralgia. What does the pain of trigeminal neuralgia feel like to the patient and to the family who is there with the patient? Facial pain can be of many kinds. Some of them are intermittent, some of them are continuous. So, trigeminal neuralgia is a kind of facial pain which is different from most other facial pains. So, typically the trigeminal neuralgia pain is of an intermittent nature that means it comes and goes. So, these attacks of pain are what the patient describes as pain attacks. These are episodes of facial pain that are triggered by either touching the face or brushing, eating, drinking or talking even. So, this is one kind of classical trigeminal neuralgia where the pain comes in episodes. There is a second kind of trigeminal neuralgia pain where patient has a continuous background pain which is of milder intensity. On top of this background pain, the patient experiences further episodes of acute attacks which are triggered by these classical things like touching, eating, brushing, drinking or even talking. So, we have now described two kinds of pains. One is where the patient has an intermittent pain, the other is where there is a continuous background pain and on top of this there are intermittent episodes. The pain is something that cannot be seen by others it can only be experienced by the patient. So, how exactly is this experience that the patient has? So, what the patient feels and what the family perceives of that pain, though they are related, there can be two different things. The patient says that there are sudden episodes of electric shock like pain, like lightning attacks. They cannot, they, one moment they are fine and the next moment there are sudden attacks that are there in the face. Sometimes patient can also have shooting or stabbing kind of pain. The third type is when the patient has like knives piercing through the skin. So, they have like a knife being pierced from inside their face. In some people, it also appears as though some chili powder is being rubbed on the face. This can appear in any of these three divisions of the trigeminal nerve, either the V3, the V2 or the V1 division or a combination of these divisions. It can begin in one of these divisions and spread further to the rest of the face. Sometimes when the V1 division is affected, there can be tearing or even redness of the eye. This pain is sudden and unpredictable. For the relatives who are there with the patient, it is generally like the patient is sitting with them. Everything is fine, they are talking, eating and suddenly the patient goes still, stops talking, stops moving and holds their face as though to control the pain. And for that brief moment, these episodes can last from few seconds to up to about 2 to 3 minutes. For the, that period of time that the patient experiences pain, they do not want anybody else to talk, they will themselves not talk, they will stop eating, they will throw the food or drink or whatever they are having in their hand and just become still. Sometimes the pain is so severe that they are unable to sit still. They just move about and become restless because they do not know what to do with their pain. Because of this severe intensity of pain, it is impossible for these people to enjoy gatherings for get togethers or other functions because they are not sure when the pain attack is going to come. And if they have to attend functions with their relatives. The relatives are also on edge all the time because they do not know when their you know friend or relative or husband or wife is going to get the pain. So, they live their entire life in constant fear or anxiety that the next episode is going to start immediately. So, how does the pain affect the life of the patient? It affects both the mind as well as the body. How it affects the body is not difficult to understand because the pain is triggered by eating, patients reduce their eating, because it is triggered by talking, they try to avoid talking. So, 
they try not to eat much, try not to drink too much water, try not to talk to people, they become lonely, they get withdrawn because brushing is an important trigger, they stop brushing their teeth, they just you know rinse their mouths and therefore it, they are prone to having tooth decay and gum problems because of this. Because shaving is another trigger, they cannot keep their faces clean, they just pour water on their face and gently dab it with a towel. So, you, you find these especially the male patients are fairly unkempt because they do not want to shave their faces. Also because a, a slight breeze or a wind or even the, uh, the movement of air that a fan creates is also able to trigger their pain, they prefer to suffer in heat rather than switch on the fan. So, many of them have problems because of the heat because they cannot tolerate the wind. So, trigeminal neuralgia is a kind of chronic pain. So, it does affect the mind. Over a period of time, psychologically also the patient starts living in constant fear, constant anxiety. When will the next attack come? What will precipitate the next attack? Where will it happen? What will I be doing at that time? So, they have no energy to do anything else because all their energy is consumed by thinking and worrying about the next pain attack. This also makes them stop all interaction and there is lot of loneliness because there is loss of interaction with other human beings. This anxiety about the next attack, when will it come is the predominant thought on their minds. So, when the pain begins initially, Everyone is at a loss to understand why there is facial pain and then the reality of this living with this pain sets in. So, initially the family members as well as the patient ignores the pain as something which is innocuous or benign and they do not pay much attention to it. Slowly as it becomes a part of their routine lives, they start noticing a pattern, what brings it on, what brings it off, how long it lasts what makes it go away, what foods bring it on, they start noticing these things and then they start living with the pain. Then the family members also start getting concerned about this, not only because of the pain, but because the behavior not only of the patient, but the entire family and friends towards the patient also changes. And the patient starts living in social isolation. If you liked this video, be sure to hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel to know more about more such videos from other playlists as well as the trigeminal neuralgia playlist. Thank you and see you next time.